It is to some extent a threat and to some extent an opportunity. China's exports are very badly affected. This you can say presents an opportunity to India. Every single country including India is going to suffer in terms of air traffic and in terms of tourism. India may face difficulty even in domestic production and in the export. The threats are far more than the minor advantages we might get out of this virus. The coronavirus problem is growing by the day. It is spreading to more and more countries. It is spreading to more and more people. What is the impact of this on India? It is to some extent a threat and to some extent an opportunity. Within China, Hubei province has more or less been locked down. They don't want people to go out or come in to that particular state to contain the virus, despite which it is spreading. And that is a very important industrial center, affecting a very large number of things. So this means on the one hand, China's exports are very badly affected. It can't export all that it was doing. This, you can say, presents an opportunity to India. After all, China is one of our competitors. It has been a very strong exporter in a very wide variety of items that India can also export. So perhaps there is some scope for India to take over that space that China is being forced to vacate. It will not be easy because we can't suddenly build up capacity, uh, which doesn't exist. But to some extent, yes, there may be an opportunity that to the extent that China is not able to export, that space we can occupy. Of course, Bangladesh will occupy it, Cambodia will occupy it, Mexico will occupy it, lots of others will also occupy it. But to the extent that space is created, India could also get some advantage out of it and increase our exports. But on the other hand, we can be very badly hit in other ways. One of course is that because of the global scare, all travel, all tourism is coming down. So every single country, including India, is going to suffer in terms of air traffic and in terms of tourism. Uh, I personally was invited to a big conference by Kotex Securities in Bombay, which had to be cancelled because they said, you know, nobody wanted people to come in from Hong Kong and give uh, the virus to everybody else. And this will not be the only conference getting cancelled. Over and above that, India is a very substantial importer of $60 billion worth of stuff from China. This includes a large number of electronic items and it includes a large number of pharmaceutical ingredients. To the extent that we are unable to get this, India may face difficulty even in domestic production and in the export, both of the electronic items and especially in the export of uh, generic drugs. Now, we have been a very big generic drug exporter, the biggest single generic drug exporter to the USA, in fact. But 65 to 70 percent of the bulk chemicals come from China. And to the extent that that particular thing is interrupted, it is going to hit our domestic production and our exports. In fact, there are some fears that uh, we are going to run short of a series of drugs. And there is talk of the government, in fact, putting a ban on exports saying let us try and at least meet our own domestic demands. We do not know how much longer this will go. The longer it goes on, to some extent, the greater is the damage to us and the less is opportunity we can get. Because, you know, opportunity is limited to spare capacity and you can't suddenly ramp up spare capacity. Whereas the constraint on your imports is going to continue for some time. We have not yet had a major health issue. And yet, if it does come, I mean, I'm afraid India's standards of hygiene, India's standards of uh, hospital health treatment are not good at all by international standards. So the virus begins to come here in significant quantities. That will be one additional problem which is going to affect us. So we need to grit our teeth and be prepared for the worst. Let us hope things don't get much worse. Let us hope the virus gets contained like other viruses, like SARS was contained, Ebola was contained. Let us hope this will be contained. But as of now, the threats are far more than the minor advantages we might get out of this virus. <laughs>